everybody, it's Catherine. Welcome to my channel where I like to talk all things beauty and fragrance. Tonight I'm talking about a niche uh, perfumery house. I first came across this perfume house maybe a couple months ago with one of the fragrances that I was so impressed with and blew me away so much that I wanted to try other fragrances within its line. The fragrance house I speak of is Nisane. Nissan A is not only the first, but only uh, Istanbul-based niche perfumeries that is also globally celebrated. Uh, Nissan A means sign or symbol, and so the Nissan A fragrance is the symbol of how much value that you put on yourself and your loved ones with this artistic fragrance. With the idea that scent can create a memory, and memories have priceless so each perfume is created um, and designed as a moment to be celebrated and cherished. Nisane is gathering a following by storytelling with his fragrances. Uh, collections such as Collection Rumi, inspired by the quotes of the philosopher Rumi. Uh, shadow Play Trilogy, inspired by traditional shadow play, known as uh, Karagas and Hasevat collection Imaginative, inspired by the novella The Little Prince, and the No Boundaries collection, which was created in the hopes of ruining all emotional borders between people. Nisane is rooted in culture and is truly creative in the storytelling behind each of the fragrances. What makes the collection so intriguing isn't just the stories and the tradition, but the uniqueness and charm of each fragrance itself. The first of Nissan A's uh, fragrances that I had the privilege of experiencing, I kind of fell upon by accident. Uh, the fragrance is called A Hundred Silent Ways. Um, it's considered a floral gourmand musky scent. The perfume is said to be a tribute to all the most liked perfumes in the history of perfume making. Uh, the top notes are tuberose, mandarin, and peach. The middle notes are white jasmine, gardenia, and orris, and the base notes vanilla, sandalwood, and vetiver. To be honest, uh, the fragrance start to finish for me maintained basically the same overall scent, and that was the smoothest, purest, soft vanilla scent that I have yet to experience. It truly is an elegant and beautiful decadent fragrance it's like the softness and flow of a sheer white blouse it is beautiful and fluid and it's the kind of fragrance that you just want to drown your body in uh I think I smelled a bit of the tuberose in the mandarin ever so soft, ever so softly, a bit of the white jasmine, but like I said, just primarily the smooth vanilla. And it's not a strong uh, vanilla concentrate like many of the Montal fragrances I've experienced where it's that strong bold vanilla scent, but this is just, uh, if you're familiar with Briar's vanilla ice cream, it's like that. It's like the kind of vanilla that just melts in your mouth like an ice milk. It's soft and delicate and pure. Unfortunately, you can't really purchase Nishane on that many sites so far. I have found it on um, the Nissan A website itself, nissane.com.tr. They also have it on soavantgarde.com. There are uh, select fragrance boutiques that I'm sure might carry it. If I wasn't romanced enough by the scent itself, when I looked at the Nissan A website, they had listed a quote by the 13th century Persian poet Rumi and paired it with the fragrance. Quoting, I closed my mouth and spoke to you in a hundred silent ways. Mic drop. I mean, doesn't that just articulate so perfectly what you want a fragrance to do is to make 
an impact by your presence to be able to convey a message to those around you without even speaking. I just think it's such an artistic and poetic way to articulate a fragrance. So I definitely encourage you to check this one out if you haven't. The next fragrance I'm going to talk about this evening is also by Nissan A. Uh, it is called Vain and Naive. It's considered a balsamic, floral, sweet fragrance. Vain and Naive is a tribute to each unique love ever experienced on earth. It, it's the time you've wasted for your rose that makes your rose so important. This is the smell of the flower that the little prince was so in love with, which is simultaneously vain and naive. There might be, and I quote, there might be millions of roses in the whole world, but you are my only one unique rose. Again, so eloquently articulated of a fragrance. Um, though, you'd think with a description like that, it would be much more of a floral rose scent. Um, like I said, this is a balsamic, floral sweet scent. The top notes are bergamot and orange. The heart is rose, jasmine, cedarwood, plum, and raspberry. The base notes sandalwood, amber, patchouli, benzoin, tonka bean, and musk. The fragrance starts off very um, unique. It's very, it's a citrus, but it's also kind of herbaceous. It's definitely got a green edge to it. Uh, it's crisp, it's fresh. I feel you can really smell the bergamot and the orange initially. Uh, the rose, the jasmine, and the cedar wood kind of wafted in ever so slightly. It reminded me of opening up a pair of French doors on a villa on a cliff overlooking the French Riviera and just getting that breeze of citrus and salt in the air, but the slight green, but greenery in as much of the citrus in the air. Um, it truly is a unique scent. It's unlike any I've experienced before. As it dries down, you do, do begin to smell a bit of the tonka bean, a bit of the sandalwood. Maybe a hint of amber becomes more of a, a woodsy foundational scent, but like with a hint of bitter citrus. It, I mean, it truly, it's, it's a very unique fragrance. Unfortunately, with both Vain and Naive and uh, A Hundred Silent Ways, there isn't much uh, silage. There isn't much um, longevity in the fragrance. They last a couple of hours. I'm trying to figure out a way of maybe pairing it with um, a body oil. They do also carry a body oil in the A um, Hundred Silent Ways as well as some as well as some hair fragrances. Uh, but. I enjoy both of these fragrances so thoroughly that if you're looking for a fragrance that um, really makes a presence where you really leave a strong scent trail or um, really have a presence fragrance wise in a room, these are not going to be your go to fragrances. These are soft, these are intimate fragrances where they have a more subdued presence, a more intimate situation of a scent. I have some other Nissan A uh, fragrances that I intend to review. However, I wanted to keep these two together because they are so unique. Um, I know vanilla as a note is not unique in a fragrance. There are millions, there are hundreds if not millions of vanilla fragrances out there. But like I said, I have never experienced such a soft, pure, uh, elegant vanilla fragrance that I have enjoyed so thoroughly where it's not so strong it's not giving me a headache it's not it's just so sweet and delicate um, like a light breeze just gently tickling your skin and see though both are unisex fragrances I think a uh, hundred silent ways would be more feminine because it is more sweet um, versus vain and naive I feel with those woodsy notes and the citrus uh, I feel it would lean a bit more masculine Overall, two very unique fragrances. 
that definitely stand out in the land of fragrance. Again, my name's Catherine. I hope you enjoyed the content of this video. If you are new here, uh, welcome. If you are a return viewer, thank you for coming back. Um, please make sure to hit the like button. It's kind of like leaving me a tip. Uh, it really helps me out in the algorithm of YouTube and also just as a nice pat on the back for me. Uh, I would be honored if you'd also hit subscribe and the notification bell so you'd be alerted when I do post my new videos. Uh, please hit me up on Instagram or TikTok. Let's stay in touch. Um, you can let me know if you've tried any of these fragrances in the comments section or if you've enjoyed them. Please leave me a comment if you've experienced these fragrances or if you've experienced one where you feel like it would be similar to these two. I'd love to learn um, more from you or experience a fragrance I might not ordinarily have done so. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks.